So I finally found the perfect way to get high FPS on any PC. So in today's video, I'll be showing you simple methods to boost your FPS in Valorant. So watch until the end of the video because I will be giving away a free FPS boost pack. But anyway, let's get into the video. So what you want to do for the first step is you want to head over to your Windows tab and you want to type out Game Mode. And then you want to click on Turn on Game Mode. And you basically want to tick the box Turn On. Then for the second step, what you want to do is you want to head over to your Windows tab. You want to type out Task Manager and you want to click on Task Manager. Then you want to head over to the setup tab and you basically want to disable all the apps you don't use when starting up your PC. So if you don't want your Epic Games launcher to launch when launching your PC, you can just right click on it and you can disable it. And this will basically boost your PC a lot. Now once you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to head over to your Windows tab. You want to type out run. Then you want to run the run application. Then you basically want to type out this command. I will leave this command in the description so you can basically copy and paste it. So once you paste the command, you want to click on OK. Then you want to click on save you want to click on config then you want to click these bunch of numbers with random words you want to click on this folder then you want to head over to windows then you want to right click on game user settings and you want to click on edit so once you open up the file you want to put your bus vsync on false make sure it's on false then what you want to do is you want to put your resolution size y you want to change it to 720p then you basically also want to type in 720p just here just like that then once you're done with that you want to scroll down and you will find scalability groups you want to put your resolution quality on 90 percent just on 90 and you want to put your view distance quality on zero anti-analysing quality on zero shadow quality on zero post process quality on zero texture quality also on zero and you want to put your effects quality on zero and you basically want to put the bottom two also on zero then once you're done with that you want to click on file and you want to click on save then for the third step what you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop you want to click on display settings then you want to scroll all the way down and you want to click on graphic settings then you want to hit over to browse then you want to click on local disk and you want to head over to your ride games you want to click on valorant you want to click on live then you want to click on valorant.exe and you want to click on add then what you want to do is you want to click on options and you want to tick the box high performance and you want to click on save then for the fourth step what you want to do is you want to head over to your file explorer you want to click on local disk then you want to click on ride games you want to head over to valorant you want to click on live and then you want to right click on valorant.exe you want to head over to properties then you want to click on the compatibility tab and you want to tick the box disable full screen optimization then you want to head over to change high dpi settings you want to tick the box override high dpi scaling behavior and you want to click on ok apply and ok so well, guys once you're done with those steps you want to download the valid and 100 plus fps boost pack i will leave a link in the description so you can basically download it so once you download it you want to open up the file you want to click on pc optimizations and you want to run these files you can also right click on these things and you can click on edit and you will see what these things are doing to your pc basically now once you're done running those things you want to click on ram optimization and you want to merge the one that you use so for example if i'm using an 8 gig ram i'll click on 8 gig if i'm using 16 click on 16 and then once you're done with the ram optimizations you want to click on valorant priority and you basically want to choose the best priority for you so you get normal priority and you get a high priority and you get above normal priority so i would suggest trying the high priority or the above normal priority these two works the best so just choose which one work for you and use that but anyway guys that was the end of the video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more fps boost content as well as valorant content but anyway i'll see you guys in the next video peace out